Sleep well. What do you think? Everyone says the first night's the worst. You'll start settling once you're in your permanent cell. Here we go. Not exactly five star, but you've got on suite facilities and some company. Meet Mangler. Enjoy getting acquainted, lads. Right. You'd have thought an accident like that would have been forgiven after all these years. Yes, but accident or no accident, Andy's still committed a crime. There's plenty of folk round here have got away with worse. When you've finished setting the world to rights, you haven't forgotten that we've got a date with the cha-cha, have you? I thought you decided not to enter. Yes, well, I've had my arm twisted. Do I detect a hint of concern? Hardly. Are you sure? You are aware that my sister's second name is Twinkletoes. And I received rave reviews for umpteen dancing rules back in my Amdram days. Together, we are going to be a formidable team. Oh, <laughs> do you mind? Ooh. Oh, well, that serves you right for being so giddy. I'm fine. You want to keep an eye on your ex and pains at your age? I'm more than capable of that, thank you. The solicitor's just started working on the appeal. Best thing we can do for Andy is carry on as normal. To what he wants. You know not about what he wants. But I do. And I say we listen to Jack. You're pathetic. Hey, come on. I thought you ever go at me. So your stupid big day got ruined. It's something compared to Andy's life. Wallowing in self-pity is the last thing on my mind. I've got responsibilities. For Sarah. She's already upset wondering where her dad is. And I don't need you making things worse by thinking your feelings are the only ones that matter. Have you got that? Come here, love. Stop being nice to us, all right? Well, this is a lot more fun than that stuffy waltz you wanted us to warm up with. But the gentle sways would have been more therapeutic for your oh. joints. <laughs> and turn. You're half a feet behind. I'm treading carefully. Nothing too frenetic since the hip replacement. Ah! Ah! With this. I'm not up to it, Lily. Oh, now here comes the tricky bit. Just in time to prove to you that I am. <laughs> You'll have to see Mrs. Whitaker on your own. Oh, it's the first old folks home we've pitched for. And she pinched me on the backside last time we met. Save it. I'm not in the mood. The geriatric croak's got me jumping through so many hoops, I hardly know what day of the week it is. Oh, dear. St. Bernadette boring with tales of healing the lame, is she? Give her a break, eh? It's fine, David. I barely notice the barbed comments from my family anymore. She has been up to the hospital twice already today. She's exhausted. And since I've no other support, it's adrenaline that's getting me through it. Though, I left so late last night that I almost cried myself to sleep at the wheel of the car. Oh, I'm sure you're aware of the benefits that your doting wife routine will reap. There's only one that matters, Donald pulling through. Now, I promised him grapes, and he's waiting. Maybe you should uh, go and chill at the house first. Eh? Mm, he needs me, and I won't let him down. I made the vow in sickness and in health on the hours before he turned purple and crumpled up my feet. I'm starting to get concerned about this. I think that's what she wants. Because Susan does seem to be snapping his fingers and expecting her to leap whenever he says so. I think she's genuinely at her wit's end. Oh. Well, I for one am flagging. You're hardly out of breath. But I'm famished. I know what you're trying to do. You have hardly uttered a word in the last half hour except tut every time I looked a bit wobbly. And I, I, I haven't even the slightest twinge. So why are you on such a short fuse? I cannot believe that you would use my condition to get us out of this competition. That's just not true. If it wasn't true, you would realise how much this dancing means to me. Oh, stop being silly and sit down. Don't, don't, don't patronise me and don't mollycoddle me. I'm going to take our names off that entry list. And don't feign disappointment, because I know it's what you want. 
Dead sorry about what's happened. You must be in bits. I'm glad you're still talking to me. I need mates at the moment. I won't let you down after something this terrible's happened. I know what you're going through, sort of. Lexi's been inside and abroad where it's dead rough. We'll skip school this afternoon. But I need someone to talk to. <laughs> Should do no such thing. I thought that was you, Sunshine. We need a little chat, and then afterwards you're gonna trot along with me to say sorry to Diane. You've got no chance. Don't even think about causing trouble in here. But you love it. All of you. Every time it's aggro or someone's in bother, it gives you lots something to bitch about. Taz. Hey, up. I wondered how long it'd be till you wobbled in my direction, love. I've got nobody else to turn to. Well, maybe that door's closed now after the way you talked to me earlier. You know, I know the teacher respect your elders and all that guff, but it works both ways, Lil, doesn't it? Will you stop playing games? It must be hard for you, woman like you. You know, you're not in your first flush. You're not a bad looker on a good day. You know, that problem puts about 20 years on you. Life can be cruel. See you in a bit. I am desperate. Oh, well, then, what's the word? Please. There. Let's see what Dr Eli can do for you. Dr Eli, eh? Let's see what I can do for you. Huh? Donald D'Souza. I'm sorry about dropping in on you like this so uh, unceremoniously. Unexpected guests are always welcome. But you'll have to enlighten me. Have we done business together? Or were we at school, perhaps? I'm Rodney Blackstock, your wife's father. What a joy. I've been dying to meet you. Now, shall I call you Rodney or Daddy? Neatly disguised, his hands a bit of shopping as usual. Well, that's why I usually do. But we'll melt with it, mate. <laughs> hey, this might be the last time. Police is sniffing about. I've got a dozen plants I'm about to take to a new home. Dendite dump. Right, well, I'll be in touch, all right? Right. Take curse on. All right. All right. Oh, Diane. I heard what happened with Dad's shocking. He's gone anywhere, if you ask me, the ball He went off on one earlier in the shop when Val was trying to rattle his cage. Have you been interfering? I was just sticking up for my sister. I was trying to make him to say sorry. I'm not interested in his apology. Oh, I've had enough of being made to feel like the village pariah. Oh. To spare the gossip mongers breaking out into a sweat, I'd like to confirm that I have been officially blamed for every ounce of bad luck that's happened to the Sugdens in recent weeks. I made a mistake, that's all. The sum in here have made worse. From now on, if anyone breathes a word asking me about the people who used to be my family, they'll not only be barred, they'll be dragged out into Main Street. Right, as you were. I wish you could have been at the wedding. Oh, though to be fair, I can't remember any of it. The recovery process must be very uh, frustrating. You try getting your brain back in gear when the only help you've got is murder she wrote on the telly every afternoon and a book of Carol Vorderman's flaming Sudoku. Yeah, I'm sure you can devise some other means to keep yourself amused. Tormenting the nurses doesn't help. I tried it, and I had to endure the blanket bath from hell. Although, it wasn't entirely unpleasant, thinking back on it. And is there anybody else that you relish... tormenting? No. Well, maybe that's too strong a word, but there is someone, close to us both, that you not only make jump when you ask her to, but you expect her to ask you how high. I thought you were building up towards a point being made. Well, Nicola not only has to run the business, but you expect her to make herself available to you whenever you feel like it. I hope you're not implying I'm asking my wife to be by my side out of devilment. Well, surely you must see how hard you're pushing her. Your concern surprises me. I was making a point earlier, too. I know you weren't even invited to the wedding, 
Nicholas told me how you cut her out of your life. Yes, well... That's as much for her sake as anything. You only know half the story. So do you. As fascinated as I am with her, Nicola's a very tricksy young lady. Capable of being more than a complete madam. You can't disagree with that. I thought not. Fancy a sherry? I shouldn't, but they turn a bit of a blind eye in here since I'm paying so much. It's in the drawer. Me for that way to love. Where'd I find you? I'll find you. Hey, I've got some good news, you know. I've happened upon an opportunity, right? We'll get you that stuff whenever you want it. This is a one off. I'm not going to be asking for your help again. I think you'll find you will. I thought you'd be on from school. When's this drama club? Hey, I saw that. He didn't do it on purpose. Don't you think Jack has got enough on his mind without you letting him down? Keep out of it, you old cow. If anyone makes people's lives a misery around here, it's you. You don't feel me pretending to be all concerned yesterday. You were only there for a cheap thrill. You cruel boy. I hardly slept a wink last night fretting over your brother. More like you were bursting to get out and spread the gossip. If I were ten years younger, I would give you such a walloping, lad. I don't think running away is going to do you any good. It was an accident. You're a lucky fella. She's bonny. We were meant to be getting married yesterday. <laughs> This place is full of blokes who reckon they'd get off. Me included. At least you got something to look forward to. I hope so. <laughs> My real name's Keith. I hate it when they call us Mangler. Andy. Yeah, do us a favour, look the other way while I use the carsey, will you? It's dead embarrassing first time with a new cellmate. I know what she was after when she married me. Look, she thinks far too much of you to require a father figure. She's ambitious and ruthless. Two of her more desirable traits. <laughs> she saw me as a ticket to success. You seem to have her remarkably sussed for a man whose memory's been shot to pieces. Nicola and I have talked so much since I awoke. It all came flooding back. Yeah. I'm still not comfortable with what you're suggesting there. I don't think your daughter's a gold digger. I celebrate her ardour for success, but I have to be realistic. When she's not snarling, she's a pretty girl. <laughs> Why would you want me? I do sense some affection, but I'm pushing her because I need to see just how much she cares for me. Well, she has been deeply concerned. For your sake, I'll ease off slightly from here on in. Thanks, I appreciate that. And I'm willing to uh, help, uh, if you're interested. Well, go careful. Overdo it at your age, and you'll end up like me. <laughs> Hi. Why are you here? Well, I thought it was about time I uh, paid a visit to my son-in-law. <laughs> this man is completely charming. How could you keep him from me? Sorry for the delay. I decided I needed to grab some me time. Yeah, and I've offered to share your burden until Donald's back on his feet. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? I'll go and get some tea. I'm looking forward to coming home more than ever now. Drinking's not good for you. You shouldn't have phoned Jack. Daz is going through enough. Oh, poor Daz. 
Doesn't mean you can go marauding through the village. After you finish carrying on like a complete cow, I'll never be able to look him in the face again. I'm your mother. I'm just about sick of you talking to me like I'm something you've trodden in. You bring it all on yourself. Maybe my instincts were right. I should take you away from here. Put an end to whatever's going on with you. Don't start spinning lies to try and scare me. It won't wash. Read this. I heard about a job on the grapevine. It's right up my street. So I looked up the details online and... Well, it looks like a brilliant opportunity. Heading up a large department in a brand new hospital. You're getting a crummy job because you can't handle the one you've already got. So what? Read the name of the hospital. I know your geography is rubbish, but even you should know Toronto isn't the capital of Skipdale. You can't take me away from here. I can, and I will. If I was in your shoes, I'd be cramming in every ounce of practice. We have decided to drop out and don't gloat. Well, there's nothing wrong with bowing out gracefully. You were right. I was feeling dreadful. And it turns me into a complete rat bag. I am so sorry. And I still want to be in this dance contest. The next time you run out of your herbal teas, you'll get snappy again. Well, I, I actually think I've got a regular source. It, 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 it's a lesbian cooperative out near Hotton. You know the sort of thing, alfalfa sprouts and inedible bread. Huh. Well, I've been thinking, and this morning might have been marred by my concern, but I always forget how many happy memories dancing brings back. <laughs> Well, as soon as I've given my plans for once over, we'll have another practice. And this time, we will stick with your waltz. There you go, ladies. I've crossed you off the list. Well, you can just uncross us again. <laughs> we have decided that there's a bit of spin left in these old broads yet. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Dad? Well, he's not welcome here, so unless he's sneaked round the back and he's kicking Diane while she's down. Oh, no. He's gone AWOL. No sign of him at the garage or Dale View. I've even been up to Seth's hide. He's in the right state about Andy. I'll work that one out for myself. I should have said more when he let rip. There's been enough for people to stare at. I want to talk to you about that. Dad and Donald are on the way to being best mates. He's there reading to him now. I was instructed to have the night off. We, well, yeah. <clears throat> Could take advantage of an empty house. <sighs> Your one track mind's worse than a dumb puppet's. I'm hurtling towards disaster. Soon the old man will have my old man sitting up and begging. And the further he wheedles his way into my life, the more I'll lose my grip. I should never have shown me face at the court. Andy will have been glad to see you. And I I'm was not just... asking you to pretend you want me involved in any way in your business, Jack. I already know you've decided to sell the cottage to Mel and Greg. It was my home too, you know. I have to keep away, otherwise I'll just go on getting hurt, unless that's what you want. Of course it isn't. From now on, we'll exchange pleasantries. Maybe even pass the time of day with small talk, eventually. But I can't afford to get any closer ever again. You and the kids, live your lives, I'll live mine. I've always felt safe in the village. Now Andy's gone, it'll never be the same again. I'm always here for you, Daz. I mean it. you're doing? I hope well. Do you know, I read somewhere the other day that these polytunnel thingies, they're cracking for growing toms. What a pity it isn't the season for them. Oh well, good job they also work wonders for these little beauties then, innit? Now listen, there's a small fortune here, you're gonna have all the medicinal needs you need, right at your fingertips, literally, as soon as you're gonna help me grow them. I do nothing of the kind. It's tough, innit? It's a of cash for your stash, I want a bit of free rental, love. You are going to get us both into terrible trouble. No, don't worry, love. I'll see we're all right. I've already been inside for mucking up with drugs once. I don't make the same mistakes twice. 
I'm not going to get involved in anything like this. Yeah, but you've already been a very naughty little girl, haven't you? Eh? Sneaking about doing your drug deals. Not many grandmas round here into that, is there, Lil? I had no alternative. Is that how your dried-up sister's going to see it, eh? She finds that you've been going potty under her roof and all. <laughs> eh? Give me that! Oh. Right. Uh. Up. Uh. Get up! Oh. You're going to start behaving, eh? You don't want to get on the wrong side of me. Treat these plants like you would the rest, keep stum, and we'll all be happy. And since you're here, you can help me repot them and all. Well, come on, will you? <sighs> Tonight at nine. Your dad went inside today for four years. He's going to miss the next four years of your lives, and we've been treating it like it's an occupational hazard. Well, not anymore. From today, this family's going straight. A new comedy drama, Honest, on ITV One.